Hello guys and welcome to the channel and today I'm gonna show you how to apply LUTs to your project. So let's go ahead and start right now. As you can see I have this project already started. I'm just gonna move this window a little bit here. And if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe. This will help me a lot to grow my channel and make sure you click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos because you're gonna learn a lot more interesting and helpful tips on this channel so make sure you subscribe and if you find this video helpful don't forget to click the like button here we go i have the two video clips in this project so let's go ahead and put them on the timeline open this timeline as you can see this is my original footage that came out of the camera and this is a pretty good quality it's a 4k but what you can do you can actually improve the colors so i'm just gonna mute the audio because we don't really need the audio, I guess. Not actually, not bad. Yeah, as you can see, other the camera colors are not bad and the exposition is pretty good. So it doesn't need any basic correction, but you can apply LUTs for sure. So LUTs are located in Lumetri Color. If you want to get to the Lumetri Color panel, you got to go to the window and then choose Lumetri Color. And this is where you can apply LUTs. So there are three ways you can apply LUTs to your project. The first way, you can apply a LUT individually to each clip, and this gives you the flexibility of having each clip having a different color. But if you wanna have the whole project having the same colors throughout the project, this is not the good way because it's gonna take a long time to apply each LUT. But let's go ahead and try the first method first. So in basic correction, you can input different LUTs that you have created previously or the one that you got from other creators. So you go here, there are some presets. So there are some technical LUTs here already saved by default in Premiere. You can try those. So for example, if you, tr if you wanna try Ari Alexa, so this color, as you can see, is too much contrast, too much color. I don't think you really wanna use that. So let's see without the LUT and with the LUT. So I think it's, it's overkill right now. So this is not very good for this particular clip. I do have some LUTs saved from previous projects that I made and you can save them on your own. If you work with the video and you find a pretty good balance the way you want your footage to look like, you can save those presets and you can export LUTs so you can apply them on a new project. So let's go ahead and find these LUTs. You just gotta click Browse and I already have it saved right here. It has an extension of Cube, C-U-B-E. Double click on it and as you can see I have applied my LUT to this project. Let's go ahead and turn on the FX button and there we go. So this is with the LUT and this is without the LUT. You can see I got more contrast, a little bit deeper colors. They're not as bright and washed out, so they have deeper colors. And I do like this kind of look, so when I apply this LUT to my footage, I really kind of think it's, it's making it look way better than original out-of-the-camera colors. And same thing with this footage here. For example, out-of-the-camera color is not bad, but let's go ahead and apply a new LUT on this one. And I'm gonna apply the same LUT. And you see the colors become more deeper and picture became more colorful. Let's go ahead and check it out without the LUT. And you can see it's a little bit washed out, but you don't notice it until you actually check it out side by side. So there you go. So this is the first method you can apply LUTs. You can just apply them to individual clips through the Lumetri color panel. And this works great if you have a few footages and you want them to look a little bit different and you want to adjust them manually, each, each clip separately. But what if you have a project with a few clips and you want to have the same look over throughout all the clips on your timeline? This is where the second method comes handy. So the second method would be good if you have to apply it throughout all the projects. So for this, you just gotta go to the new item, go to adjustment layer, and adjustment layer is created with the exact same frame width and height and same frame rate, and just uh, click OK. There we go, we got that new adjustment layer, just put it over the existing clips on the timeline, stretch it over all the clips, and now you can work with adjustment layer just like you work with any other video clip on the timeline and we're gonna apply a new lot to this adjustment layer so let's go ahead and do that now as you can see we achieved the same result 
with this adjustment layer just as we would apply a lot to each clip separately. Yeah, this is much easier if you have multiple clips on a timeline. So this is the second method, but there is also a third method you can use. For example, you're using this same media file on different projects, not just on this timeline, but you're using it on the second timeline. So let's go ahead and create a second timeline. As you can see, we got this clip used on both of the timelines. So for example, if you apply a lot to this clip over here, say you go to the project then apply the LUT, you see that the light has got applied on this clip. But then if we go to another timeline, the LUT isn't applied on this timeline and there is original footage on this timeline. And you have to do the same process, go to the browse, apply, which is not that good if you wanna use same color correction on every timeline. If you use this piece of clip in, in three or five or 10 different timelines, this is not very easy to do because you're gonna spend a lot of time trying to apply the same color correction on each clip. So for this purpose, there is a third method. It's called the master clip. It allows you to apply the color correction to the existing master clip. So for example, if you go ahead and open this clip right now, like I'm just gonna open it up right now. As you can see here, it's open in the source monitor. Then you just gotta go to the effect controls. And usually when you open this clip in effect controls, it opens up this window with the motion, opacity, time remapping. But if you look up in the left corner here, it says master. And these are the effects to the master clips. So if you apply any effects or any color correction on this master clip, it will apply this effect to all the clips on any timeline. And let's go ahead and try it out right now. I'm gonna show you an easy trick how you can actually get the Lumetri color in this win in this panel right here. What you gotta do, you just gotta highlight this clip, go to the master clip and just use any tool. Let's say we're gonna use the exposure and then just click it back to the zero again, just double click. And there we go. You can see that the Lumetri color is added to this panel. So now we can apply a lot to this master clip. And what you gotta do, you just gotta use this panel right here, not this one. You just go through this one and then where it says input LUT, just go browse, choose your LUT and there we go. So let's go ahead and turn it off. There we go. So you see it's applied, but then let's go ahead and check out the second timeline that's over here. And as you can see, if we go to the second timeline, if you go to the master clip right here, it's also applied to this timeline as well. So if you turn it off, you can see the difference, right? This is how you do it. This is really handy if you're working in multiple, if you're using the same clip on multiple timelines and in multiple projects. But you gotta keep in mind that this effect applied to the master clip is gonna stay there all the time. So make sure you don't forget that it's there. Otherwise you're gonna be, if you forget, then you might not know what's happening because over here, if you go to the effect control panel, there is no Lumetri color, but you know for sure there's some something been down to this clip and the color has changed, but you don't see any changes. It's actually hidden over here in the master clip. So let's just go ahead and recap it. The first method, you can apply the settings straight to the clip. So you can apply a lot to each clip separately on the timeline. The second method, you can go ahead and create an adjustment layer. And then with the adjustment layer, just apply the LUTs to the adjustment layer. And this way you can apply the LUTs throughout the project to any part of the project or to the whole project overall. And the third method is actually applying the LUTs to the master clip. And this way it will allow you to apply the same color correction throughout any timeline. So you don't have to change it separately on each timeline individually. And now it's time for one more tip I'm gonna show you today. So if you have stayed this long throughout the video, this is gonna be a bonus for you. Let's go ahead and delete this Lumetri color from the master clip. This way we're not gonna be confused what's happening. And we're gonna go to the first timeline. And as you can see, when I remove this Lumetri color from the second timeline from the master clip, the first timeline also got the LUT removed as well. So for example, if I go to the basic correction and choose the input LUT. And for example, I wanna choose the Ari Alexa preset. And as you can see, it is really vibrant. Like the colors are really bright. I think it's an overkill. If you see here through the settings, you can adjust the exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows. So there is quite a few settings you can adjust, but I wanna adjust intensity of this LUT. 
how would you be able to do that? Well, if you do it through the basic correction, you cannot do this. Instead of going to the basic correction, go to the creative correction. You just gotta go ahead and choose look. There, where is it? It's not here. So what you can do, this is where the exporting of lots comes handy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the basic correction again. I'm gonna go to none. I'm gonna go Ari Alexa. And now what you can do, you can export this lot. You just gotta go to this menu here, click on export cube. And then let's say you wanna save it to the desktop, right? So let's just go ahead and save it to the desktop and we're gonna call it Ari. Okay, now it's saved. So now you can go ahead and turn it off Then go to the creative color, go to the look again, go browse. I'm going to go to the desktop and as you can see there is a preset saved on the desktop so I'm just going to apply it. There we go, we have applied it. And in the creative tab you have this tool here called intensity. So if you want to make it less intense you can go ahead and just lower the intensity. And as you can see when you lower the intensity it doesn't look that bad actually. So for example this is zero. This is how the original footage looks like. But then if you apply let's say 10% this is a how it looks with 10% and let's go ahead and turn it off and on see how it looks see there is quite a difference well maybe I want to add a little bit more so let's go 30% so turn it off turn it on I think 30% really looks good actually it's not too bright not too contrast I think that's just perfect so this is how you can adjust the intensity of lots and I find this is really works great so basically this is it for today I hope you guys find this video helpful if you still have any comments or questions leave them in the comment section below if you find this video helpful don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel for more helpful interesting quick tip tutorial videos on Adobe Premiere Pro and this is it for today. I hope you guys have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.